hiking on. Hey guys, it's really cold this morning. It's uh look at the thermometer here, right at 10 degrees. So I, I already actually already started chores because I wanted to get those piglets fed. Um, but I got a little bit of electrolyte water here. So I just put a scoop of electrolytes in each of these pails and then started off with a little bit of hot water. Just warm the water up a little bit for everybody. It'll help them stay warm. I think it's gonna warm up today, but right now it's really cold. So we gotta get a little more, a little more water, and then we're gonna head back down to the barn and keep working on chores. The sheep are bellering at me. They already got their grain, but they're wanting their hay right now. So they're upset with me, but we'll get them fed here in a minute. Yeah, the water wasn't froze up this morning sometimes the well will actually freeze up when it gets really cold out luckily we haven't had that yet we got some snow cover now so that always helps keep everything insulated See if we can manage to uh, put the GoPro here in my pocket. I don't know what kind of shots we're gonna get walking down to the barn, but let's try it. There's a lot of moisture in the air. We're supposed to get uh, four to six inches of snow tonight and tomorrow, so that makes it feel a lot colder. At least there isn't wind today, that helps. All right, I'm gonna have to switch the GoPro here, put on my head mount so that you guys can actually see what's going on, because I gotta move around a lot more now. Get you guys fed. These guys haven't had their grain yet, so you guys are hungry, aren't you? Yeah. All right. You know the good thing is goat some grain. All right. Let's get these goats some water. Oh. Water's nice and warm right now, girls. Better get a drink, huh? We got a little water left. Which is a good thing. Somebody over here, I think, I didn't think the sheep got all their water. Get you guys some more. Charlie, you need a little more water? Yeah. Oh. There you go, buddy. All right. I think I'm gonna put another bag of feed in. Cause we got plenty here. Just about, just about out in my can.
Some sheep over there, so noisy. They'd make you think they haven't been fed in a week. They already ate this morning. That looks like a pretty good mix. this I'm going to take over to the box oops because they are almost out of feed over there all right hey Hansi you ready for some breakfast ready for breakfast Danny hey Millie come on let's get you guys some green Come on, girls. Watch out now. Come on. Come on, you gotta watch out. Come on, you gotta move. Come on, girls, you gotta move. There we go. Get out of there. There you go. Get you guys some hay. No new babies yet. Kind of wish they would start, but with it being this cold, I don't really want any babies right now. It's usually what happens though, it's the coldest days usually when they decide to have their babies. Barometric pressure changes affect them. And so if you got a storm system moving in, a lot of times that's when they'll have their babies. A nice big armload of hay here. Ugh. You just gotta push your pan right in front of the fence I'm trying to get over. Of course you do, right? Push the center of that bale out of this pile yesterday. This makes it easier to grab hay. Oi. Looks like Hans has his pan to himself. You got all the girls chased out of there? Oh yeah. I think I'll give some hay to the sheep now. Then you can see how quiet they are once they're eating.
Looks like you girls could use some bedding again. I'm coming, sheep. They're sassy. <laughs> She's got the name sassy for a reason. She hops around like that. Oh, she's funny. Sometimes she'll get that other little black one going there too. She's excited. All right, girls, here you go. There you go. Now they're happy. They should leave me alone for a little bit at least. Let's peek in on those piglets. See if they're done eating. You guys getting all nestled up? Looks like they got a little bit left, well that's okay. I can have a little snack later on. We'll put it over by the heat lamp. Maybe keep it thawed out. How you guys doing, huh? You good? Looks like you got an old dog toy in here. You need some more straw? You guys get yourselves all wet when you eat, don't you? Yeah. You're fat and happy now. We'll have to get them some more straw. But let's finish giving everybody their hay first. We need a little bit more hay in this big pen here. And then some in the back corner for the, the little yearling does. Those yearling does need some straw too. We'll probably take one of these back there. The sheep might need straw also. Oh, watch out, girl. They like to, uh, there's a lot of straw left down in here. Corn stalks that we use for bedding. But sometimes they kind of eat it when you first put it down. So they kind of, uh, they eat some of their straw and then they don't have it as bedding because they eat it. But a lot of the hay gets pulled out of the feeders too. You can see down here some fresh hay that just fell out and then that'll end up being bedding most likely because they'll just lay in it. At least it's not so bad in the barn. There's no drafts coming in here so it's Feels a lot warmer in here than what it does outside. Took the dogs out for a run this morning. Man, I got cold. They got cold too, they didn't want to go very far. Look out guys. That hay's dusty.
All right. Hopefully that's enough hay for those girls now. for you girls. We'll put some in your little feeder over there too. There's a couple girls that like to eat separate. They kind of get pushed around a little bit. The little black one right here. Actually these three over here. They kind of always seem to be over here eating. So I'll give them a separate spot to eat so that everybody gets feed, right? That's Hemingway. She's, uh, I've never seen a goat color like her before. She was a little more gray when she was born. She's kind of started to lighten up, but I don't know if she'll turn fully white. I kind of hope she keeps her gray. I think she's pretty cool color. Hey, baby. All right, should we get you girls a little straw? What do you pigs think, huh? You want some straw too? Up, little girl. I suppose you can probably have some of this straw mango. You got a pretty good nest over there, pigs. Get these strings out of here. There you go. You want some straw? Yeah? The pigs are pretty funny with the straw. We we'll grab a mouthful and they'll carry it to where they want it and make their little nest. What's wrong? You cranky this morning? Charlie, you want some straw? You got a nice nest built up in there too, buddy. There you go. There you go, girls. They spread it out themselves. You girls going to eat your straw? You're supposed to lay in it, not eat it. All right, let's shake this out for you. They've kind of all been sleeping in this area when I come in in the morning. Sometimes you can catch them still laying down and they've been laying over here. Probably because that back door's got a draft coming through it, which I need to get fixed. But that, at least over there, it's, we don't have a direct wind because there's a shed back there that blocks the wind. So that's definitely helpful, but they, they don't need to have a breeze or draft coming through there. So I need to get that sealed up. Put a little bit on the back side too, in case some of you girls are sleeping back here.
you guys are just chilling. Got sunshine out here. Fresh bill. 